everyone, it's Nadia from Yarn Utopia. Today we're making this cute little canvas art with twigs from our backyard and some yarn and paper and ribbon here. It's such a simple project, there's no crocheting involved, so you don't need any skills. <laughs> it's gonna be so much fun and super simple. So what you'll need for supplies, I have laid out here twigs from your backyard. I have glue still stuck to me from this project, but um, you'll need some twigs from your backyard, just little tiny pieces of sticks. And I'm using Red Heart Yarns Metallic, this With Love Metallic yarn. This yarn has sparkles in it, you can get it in all holiday colors, and it is super fabulous. You're not even going to need a whole lot of yarn either. I am using, um, in red I'm using Super Saver, but um, that is just a Super Saver yarn by Red Heart Yarns. Uh, you're going to need hot glue. I am using a hot glue gun today, so if you uh, need help, you don't, you can use um, parent, parental supervision on this, uh, and don't burn yourself because this is really hot. Also, I'm using a piece of ribbon, but you don't have to. You can opt out of adding the ribbon, but I'm using this Offray ribbon that is 5 eighths inch wide here, 5 eighths inch wide and this is just a little accent on the side of our canvas. You'll also need a scissors and uh, that's it really. <laughs> I think that's all you're going to need a scissors. I have a yarn needle over here but I think it's just from a previous project so anyways <laughs> yeah you're not going to need oh you know what you will probably need these um these what are these wire cutters or if you have like shrub shears or something to cut your twigs off of your trees uh, if you want to so you could just like trim your pieces like this I mean I'm not gonna do it right now but you get the point so you could use a uh, wire cutters to cut your twigs as well so those are all the supplies you're going to need I have to say a big thank you though to Red Heart Yarns for providing the yarn even though it's just scraps for this project but they sent me this yarn for this project today so big thank you to them big thank you to my dad back here for uh, filming and editing this tutorial for everybody to see on YouTube and big thank you to you for watching be sure to subscribe to our channel before we start all right Let's get started and make this cool canvas print. All right, once you've gathered some twigs in your yard here, I'm going to set this aside because we'll use that later. Um, what I ended up doing was just taking a wire cutter and just like trimming these just like that. Um, try not to use like a nice scissors, just use a wire cutter and it works really nicely. Or if you have like a shrub scissors or something, you can cut your pieces. And we want to cut them very short, uh, just in the shapes that we want them. I'm going to set these aside because I already cut some pieces here. So what we want to do is get in the shape that we want them to be. Triangular. And then we'll have a little short piece for the stump. Okay, so you want to make it like this shape. Okay, and then I was going to grab a piece of paper because I don't want to get glue on my tabletop. So I have this scrap piece of paper that I'm going to use. And you want to heat up your hot glue gun. And let me see if it's hot enough yet. Yep, it is awesome. Okay, so I'm going to use my hot glue gun and we're just going to do in each joint, we're just going to hot glue. Okay, there we go. And try not to burn yourself because that glue can be extremely warm. And you want to just be sure to hold it down like this okay and just glue your sticks together okay there we go and the last one here right there awesome so as you can see I'm kind of gluing it to my paper which I don't want to and it can get kind of uh, tricky, so just try to hold it. Oh, see, I glued it to my paper. <laughs> there we go. But it's okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. You just want it to dry. 
Okay, and I'll go back and fix that actually. There we go. Awesome, that actually looks really good. Okay, and we're not gonna sew, or sew, we're not gonna glue the um, stump on yet. We're going to add yarn first, and then we'll add the stump last. So you want to make as many as you can of these triangles that look like this out of your sticks. And then we're going to wrap yarn around them. So I'm going to let this dry for a second and I'll show you the other ones that I have. Oopsie. I'm going to let this dry right on here. Actually what I did earlier was I had my canvas laying up like this. And I just set it on the edge. Hot glue can get so messy. <laughs> yeah. I'll fix that later. Okay, so I'm going to show you what I have done already. And you can use any type of yarn, anything you want. Uh, and you can make these cool shapes. So here's one of them I did. Actually, this is the back. There we go. So we're going to glue this stump on last. And then I made only five for the size canvas that I have. I have a 12 by 12 canvas. There's another one. This one's really cool. I like this one a lot. And then we have this one. Okay, so they're very rustic and you can wrap your yarn around them as however you want it to be really, okay? And for this last one, this fifth one that I have, I'm gonna make sure that my glue is dried. Awesome, okay. So what we're going to do let me set this aside. We are going to wrap it. And I'm not sure how I want to wrap it. Maybe I'll do another one like this one. Okay. If you wanted to do one like this, it is super simple. All you have to do is just glue it to one side and then just simply wrap it like this as much as you want and then glue it to the back of the other piece, or the other side. So it's very simple to do that style, and you can do it however you want. But I am going to actually cut a bunch of yarn so it can wrap around nicely. I'm gonna wrap it, or roll it into a tiny little ball. Okay. And we're going to start at the top, and you can add a little bit of glue if you want to, just to the top. Okay, and then glue this yarn on. Okay, and then just keep wrapping all the way around. Okay, and then just make sure that it's tight and it looks good. So this is going to be a little bit of time consuming because you're going to wrap the whole thing. Um, but it's totally worth it in the end and you can see the sparkles on this type of yarn. You can use any yarn you want. You can use thread. You can use chunky yarn. Whatever you really like. It's totally up to you. But this is how it's going to work. And we're just going to go around and around and around. So I'm going to do that all the way around this piece. And then once I have this whole thing wrapped all the way around, then I will come back on screen and I will show you what I'm going to do next. All right, so I just wrapped all the way around this piece. And now I'm going to cut any extra yarn that I have. And then we're going to glue this down with our hot glue gun. And just like hold it down. Okay. And that. Actually I'm going to pull this just a little tighter. There we go. And then I'm going to cut if it looks like that's coming in the front. Just make it look nice. Okay. Perfect. Awesome. So there's that. And then we want to grab that little stump 
and so or I keep saying so we want to glue that to the bottom of our tree so what I'm going to do is just put a little dot on the bottom center of our tree and then I'm going to stick this here and just let that dry so when that dries I'll come back <laughs> All right, that's just kind of tacky. It's just drying. But I did want to show you that I did cut out some um, stars out of just paper, just yellow paper. And I'm going to glue them to the tops of the trees with the hot glue gun. Just like that. Awesome! This is such a fun craft, and you could do this with the kids too. Look at how cool that is. Okay, so once you have all your um, little trees done, I have mine here. What I'm going to do, well, first I have to open my canvas. So let's open this up. I just got this, I think I got this at Michael's Craft Store. And they had the, okay, I had a coupon for like 60% off. So there we go. Okay, so once you have your canvas all good, what I want to do, I want, I'm going to add a ribbon on the side. If you don't want to add the ribbon, you don't have to, but I am going to just to have. So I have this um, satin ribbon that's just red. And I'm going to cut a piece of that. Okay, and we're actually going to flip over, oops, flip this over, and I'm going to put a little dot of glue on the back, and we're going to glue this down. Okay, then we're going to wrap this around to the bottom side make sure it is secure and straight on the front side straight across there awesome okay and then we're going to glue that down in the back okay and once that's dry we will be able to um, glue on our trees. So for your trees, you want to make sure that you, you know, wrap as many as you need. Here are mine. You can wrap them any which way you want. Glue on the heart or the stars at the top, and then um, you can put them on your canvas. Okay, that's not cutting. I don't know why my scissors aren't cutting today. So you can glue them on your canvas in any way that you want. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball it where I want mine to go. Set this down so it doesn't glue to the table. Okay, so I'm going to set this one here. Okay, maybe put this one here. And this one down here. And I'll switch this over like this. Oh, that's a good idea. Perfect. I like it like that. Okay, so then, then once you have this all set up how you want it to look, we are just going to hot glue these to the canvas. It's super simple. So basically just put some dots of glue on the back of your tree. Ooh, did you see that? Oh, you didn't see that. It like smoked. <laughs> My glue is so hot. It was smoking. Okay, and we're just going to set it down and let it dry. And that's, that's it. That's the craft. How easy, right? So awesome. Ooh, hot. And once it's down, it's down, so you can't really... I mean, you could try to take them off, but it's not going to be, like, perfect, so. 
And these don't have to be perfect. I mean, look at my stars. Obviously, I didn't have a stencil. <laughs> I'm not, like, a pro. But there, it looks good. And it's personalized, too. And this would be a fun craft for the kids as well. Awesome. Oops. Dropped a little glue on my background. If that happens, let it dry and then you can peel it off. It's not going to make any pr problem. And our last one. Awesome. So I'm going to let this dry. And actually, I probably, oh no, it's still wet. So I got a little dab of glue on my background, but as you can see, <laughs> dun dun dun, I know. It's wet right now, but I'm going to let it dry and it should peel off uh, without a problem when it's fully dry. So that's the craft. And then, yep, this is already dry. Look at, I'm trying to pull this off. These are all secure on the background already. That was so easy. Oh my gosh, look at how lovely that is. I'm just gonna wait till this comes off and then we'll be finished. All right, that was so easy and that little dollop of glue that I screwed up on, it just peeled right off and you can't even notice. So it looks great. This was such an easy project. Thank you so much for watching and learning how to make this cute little tree canvas print. I hope you enjoy this and enjoy your holiday season. Be sure to subscribe to our channel here on YouTube. If you have any questions about this project, be sure to check out the links in the description of this video. If you're watching on YouTube, check out Yarn Utopia com for more information as well. All the links to my social media is in the description of this video as well. Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat. You can contact me at any social media as well. So I hope you'd enjoyed this project and thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy hooking!